You may be seated. We have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of Brenton Edward Woodard and Jasmine Lee Carden in marriage. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity. Marriage is not intended to be entered into lightly. It is also to be entered into reverently, deliberately, and in accordance to the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Acknowledging that God has brought Brent and Jasmine together, who today has the honor of presenting this woman for marriage to this man? Her mother and I. You may be seated. Is it your intent to 
have Brent, Brent to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage as long as you both shall live? If so, say yes. Brent, is it your desire and intent to have Jasmine to be your wife and to live together in the covenant of marriage as, both as, as long as you both shall live? If so, say yes. Yes. Then I want to talk to you a few moments about clothes. I know we're at a wedding. I haven't forgotten that. But I do want to talk to you about clothes. It can be somewhat fascinating. We wear different clothes for different things. We dress one way if we're going to kick back and watch TV. We dress another if we're going out to dinner in a fancy restaurant. We dress one way if we're going to work. We dress another if we're spending all day at the beach. We dress one way if we're sleeping in at home and another if we're going to be out around people. At least most of us do. Clothing makes a difference. It makes a difference how comfortable you are and what you do. I wouldn't want to wear this suit to a beach. It's fine here, but it'd be miserable in the hot sun and sun. It makes a difference in how well you do what you're doing. I cannot imagine a firefighter going to fight a fire in a swimsuit. It would be impossible to do their job. It also makes a difference in how you feel about yourself. If you think about it, some clothes make you feel more alert and, 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 and confident and self-assured, and other clothes make you feel laid back and lazy. Clothing makes a difference. In the celebration today, the two of you have put on lovely wedding, wedding clothes, very becoming. You both look very nice. But you need more than wedding clothes for successful marriage. You need marriage clothes. Marriage clothes in order to become the people, the couple, the family that God calls you to be. It's very unlikely that most of the people here will remember exactly what you wore today. But they will notice the wedding, wedding clothes. Hear the word of the Lord as recorded in Colossians chapter 3. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, Teach and admonish one another in wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This scripture was actually written to the church, to tell churches how to live with one another and how to honor God. But I think the words speak clearly and appropriately for marriage as well. You are, the two of you are, God's chosen ones. God loves you and wants you to know love. God's love and the love of a lifelong partner. God wants you to have that love and to grow in that love. And these verses tell you how. They tell you what your marriage clothes need to be. Clothe yourselves with compassion Kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. These are marriage clothes. A becoming wardrobe to outfit you for everything your future holds. First, there's compassion. Suitable for every day. Essential for the weak moments. Then there's kindness. Soft and gentle garment. It complements whoever wears it. Next comes humility. A little scratchy and uncomfortable, but... It protects you against arrogance and self-righteousness. Then there's meekness. Meekness is worn next to the skin. It softens outbursts and prevents judgmental reactions. And of course, there's patience. Patience is a long, wearing garment. It helps you wait out the storms that come in life and marriage. And here is love. The most becoming garment of all. It's strong yet light. It's perfect for work and play. It's indispensable in crises. And with a little love and a little care, love becomes more beautiful and lovely with work. 
So choose your marriage clothes wisely. Choose them each day. Wash them with repentance and forgiveness in the gentle cycle. Mend the quarrels, iron out the difficulties, embroider it with beautiful memories. And this wardrobe, these marriage clothes, will last as long as you live. As long as you live. Love and commitment are bound together to form the bond of marriage. Love is the beginning of marriage, but commitment is what makes it last for a lifetime, for all of a lifetime, as long as you shall be. So, Britt and Jasmine, today you come to make vows of a lifelong love and commitment. These vows are to be taken very seriously. You're making them to each other. You're making them before your family and friends. You're making them before me. But most of all, you're making them before God. If you will, join right hands. And we will express your vows. Brent, repeat after me. I, Brent, I, Brent take you, Jasmine, take you, Jasmine to, be my wife. to be my wife. I commit myself, I commit myself to your happiness. To your happiness. To your self-fulfillment self and to your usefulness, to your usefulness <coughs> in God's kingdom. God's kingdom. I promise to love and honor, trust and serve you in sickness and in health, in, and health. In, bad and times, in bad times and good times, and to be true, and, to be true. and loyal to you loyal to as long as we both shall live. Jasmine, repeat after me. I, Jasmine, I, Jasmine take, you, Brent, take you, Brent, to be my husband. To be my husband. I, commit myself I commit myself to your happiness, to your, happiness, to your self, -fulfillment, self fulfillment, and to your usefulness, and to your usefulness in, God's kingdom. in God's kingdom. I promise to love and honor, I promise to love and honor trust, and serve you, trust and serve you in sickness and in health. In bad times and in good times, and to be true and loyal to you as long as we both shall live. The ring is a precious gift, a token of your faith and love. In the years to come, these rings will remind you of everything that happened today, the overwhelming joy of this special occasion when you were married. And it will also remind you of the vows and commitments that you have made and that you've shared with each other. At this time, I need the ring from the best man. Okay, Britt, if you will take that and place it on her ring finger. <clears throat> and just hold it in place there. Do you, Brent, pledge your life and love to Jasmine with all you are and all you have in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? If so, say, I do. I do. I need a ring. Jasmine, if you will take that ring and place it on his ring finger and hold it in place. Do you, Jasmine, pledge your life and love to Brent? With all you are and all you have in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, if so, say I do. You may now light the unity candle. The two individual candles represent yourselves. You can unite the flame in the center to show your two lives to be joined together and to symbolize your union as a couple, as a family. <clears throat> Let us join in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, in your presence have the vows been spoken and this marriage sealed. May their love grow stronger each day and may their marriage be symbolic of your love for all humankind. 
bless them richly and to help them, Lord, to find joy and fulfillment in your sacred union. In the name of our most holy Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Grant, Jasmine, you have made these commitments to one another and to God before this assembly of family and friends. Therefore, by the authority of God, I declare that you are now husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. If you wish, and I'm sure you do, <laughs> you may express your love and union with a kiss. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. This is Brent Woodard. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 family and friends. On behalf of Brent and Jasmine, thank you so much for being here. We ask you now, if you will, to join them at their, at their invitation. You're invited to join them in celebration at the reception. The way there is through this side door right here to my left, and straight back under the covered walkway to the other building. Thank you for your presence. <laughs>